My name is Caleb and I have wanted to be on YouTube. I've wanted to be a YouTuber for uh, like 15 years now. I was 17 at the time. If you're good with math, that makes me 32 years old. That is 32 years of this fear of failure, this fear of doing this, this fear, um, bro, just straight up fear. I was operating in fear of, of getting in front of a camera and doing this. It's been very hard. Now I'm working through some failures in business, some failures with some mental health breaks. Um, I'm, I, I'm seeing success all around me, um, just not seeing it f to me. Um, I'm married. We got $6,000 to our name, uh, still in $80,000 of uh, student and consumer credit card debt. Um, by the time this comes out, I'll be a father of three, and those kids are all under five. Um, it's been a lot, but don't get it twisted, you know. These, these pressures used to plague me. They used to break me. Um, I seek no pity. I am here because of me, because of the actions that I took. These pressures are still on me, but I have a renewed hope. Um, I have community around me now. I have people this time. I have real purpose ahead of me. Together, we're gonna see how long it takes for me to build an income on YouTube and with my company, Creative Supply. My company is being built to help creatives. It's being built to help them find their voice, to live in their true power, and to how to operate outside of fear and to keep moving into their element. Um, so I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna share my professional journey, my personal journey, uh, and it's been a rocky road. My struggles with my identity, my career, both uh, in freelance and at ad agencies. Um, whew, got some stories. <laughs> oh, I've... Forget about her. I can't talk about that. And more seriously, I'm gonna open up about my past addictions. You know, I want to do all of this to help creatives. I wanna save the next man. I wanna have the next me not happen. Um, I, I, I seriously wanna do all that I can to prevent anyone from, uh, let's not call it a waste, but, but, but pausing what they're supposed to be doing, like, like living in their element. I spent so long in this uh, chamber in this locked away enough. And uh, I wanna help the next person not live there, not have to be there. Um, this is really for accountability on my end as well. Um, I, wanna, I want that accountability as I build this next chapter. You know, I'm not who I was when I was 18 and let's all rejoice in that, you know. I'm a dad, I have responsibilities. Responsibilities? That means I'm not allowed to have fun anymore for the rest of my life. <laughs> You know, I have people to live for on this earth. I have an identity in Jesus, and I have a responsibility to operate outside of my comfort zone and, and to pursue things that are hard and to live out loud, to be a light. Um, a responsibility to do that. I have a duty to do this. Maybe you're like me, you know, maybe you're stuck. Maybe you started and stopped. Um, I wanna help and I wanna start a conversation. So down below, you know, let's, let me know where you're at and let me know how this is hitting. And uh, this is this is it for now. This is the I'm gonna call it the first update, the first episode. Uh, that's it. That's all I have right now. Um, we'll be seeing you guys soon.